forever. Friends, put your hands together to welcome on stage Quizmaster Big Brain. A big hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. You're with me, Big Brain, here today at the big national final of A Class Apart, celebrating the life of Mrs. YGP, a fantastic lady in the world of education, a doyen is the right word that I would perhaps use, a lady who always wished for middle school children to have more quiz shows, in her memory, this quiz was started during the pandemic by the family and the PSBB group of schools to remember her and to continue celebrating her life and her contributions. We're truly delighted to be here in the national final with four outstanding quizzers. All of them are familiar faces having qualified to many such finals in the past. Well, these students have gone through multiple rounds digitally from an online test which was supported by Tata Consultancy Services to the finals that you saw, the quarterfinal, then the semi-final with young Rashmi Futado, and now the big national final with me here today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's never easy to be in a big national final like this. The value of each question is going to be 100, five seconds of time, and only one attempt on the buzzer. They all know this well, you know this well. You've been watching these quizzes often and following us on all the shows that we do, but this is a truly special one. It is, if I should say, a class apart. Well, on that note, let's take a look at who our four national finalists are here today. As our first finalist here today qualifying into this final is Sanvi Gupta, and she will represent PSBB from T Nagar, Chennai. Welcome to you, Sanvi. <music> Neighboring Sanvi as our second finalist here today from the Thakur Public School in Mumbai is Anumegha Datta. Welcome to you. As our third contender here today, representing PSBB from KK Nagar. So two of the, in a sense, the whole school, the school does not get involved in the quiz at all, uh, but two of them qualifying, and they're all national finalists from various quizzes. This time around, back in a final, Omkar Sundar. Welcome to you. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, from the historic city of Varanasi, representing the Sunbeam English School, a very consistent school these days at quiz finals, with us here today is Samrid Kaushal. Welcome to you, Samrid. <music> so 
So you got two of them from Tamil Nadu, one from Maharashtra and one from Uttar Pradesh. Those are our four national finalists. Time for us to get started here today at the big national final. We know the rules. We've seen the finalists. 100 is the value. The pressure is twice that of the semi-finals that you witnessed with Rashmi Futado. And it's going to be a tough one here today because all the four of them have been at platforms like this before. So it's not going to be easy for them. The buzzers are active. We'll unlock it in just a moment. As we begin with the first of our frontiers here today, it's time to play on what we call She is Historic. Here it is. Time for us to get on with this final. All hands on the buzzer. 100 the value. Five seconds of time. Starting with the first one on your screens. Listen to my question because you can't just answer with the visuals. There is far more in a national final. On your screen, the first one. Here we go. The Pravasi Bharatiya Divas is observed on the 9th of January. It is basically to mark the contributions of the overseas Indian community. Samarit is going for it, not waiting for the question. Go ahead. That uh, Gandhi is returned to get from South Africa. Gandhiji's return from South Africa is the significance of 9th of January is what you are trying to say. Gandhiji's return to India from South Africa is the reason why India celebrates Pravasi Bharati Adivas on the 9th of January. Samrit will get the first 100 in this national final. Congratulations to him. On to the second question here today in our national final. The first 100 going to Samrit. Sunbeam starting out on a hundred as we go to the second question. This is a town in Uttarakhand. It's home to one of the four cardinal pitas which was established by Adi Shankaracharya. Someone's gone for it. Samrit again. Go ahead, Samrit. Joshimak. He's absolutely correct. From the northern terrain, from Varanasi, it is not difficult for him to answer Joshimat. He moves to 200 and moves to that score very quickly. As we move on to the next question, hands on the buzzer. Here we go. The origins of this dish can be traced to the textile mills of Mumbai. The mill workers used to have lunch breaks which were very short. Samrit again has gone for it. Go ahead. It's my favorite vada pav. It's your favorite vada pav. Minus 100 to you. The answer is Pau Bhaji. From that the Vada Pau came about over a period of time. The dish we are talking of is Pau Bhaji, which is very different from Vada Pau. It's a tricky one. Many can make that mistake. But the reality is, these were easy to eat and highly filling. And the short break was so short that they hardly got time to have a full meal. Well, tough days those from India's past. As we move on from historic India's Pau Bhaji to the next question. On your screens now. He was nominated twice for the Nobel Prize. He was not awarded one. In 1943, he was nominated for Lit... Samrit has gone for it. Aurobindo Ghosh. Aurobindo Ghosh. When India became free, he was asked to give a message. He gave five things which are going to be important and called it the five dreams for independent India. Samrit will get a hundred. Well played, Samrit. On that one, he gets a hundred as we move on to the final question on the first frontier of this game. Samrit has moved to 200. Not much of a lead, but all of these are very good contestants. They can bounce back very quickly. On to the final one. In the first round, here we go. I am a Bharat Ratna recipient. Anu Mega Datta, super fast. Iran Chandre. And uh, what is his birthday remembered as if you know that? Don't worry. The answer was Bidan Chandra Roy. She's got that absolutely right. She's good on her visuals. She'll get a hundred. 
He is a former chief minister of West Bengal and his birthday is popularly known no, in yes, India. No, I remembered, I remembered. Can Tell I me. Yes, you can, but Doctor's no. Doctor's Day. Doctor's. Doctor's Day. Doctor's Day is absolutely correct. She's got that right, but she still gets the points. And Doctor's Day is absolutely correct. So, ladies and gentlemen, early days here today at this big national final of a class apart. Two of them moving forward. The scenario can change very, very quickly. Anumega Datta on 100, Samrith on 200. Both of them look good. Both of them are very good quizzers, as are the other two. You are watching the national final of A Class Apart, the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz for 2023. As we move to the second frontier of our game here today, she is modern. Here we go. The rules remain the same as that scorecard showed us that Varanasi is a little ahead of the rest but by a fraction and it can change very quickly like I mentioned. As we begin with the second round here today, the rules apply as the questions of course come from a modern India which is typically a post-independent India. We we'll start with the first one, hands on the buzzer on your screen now. Once India became independent, India needed to have its own finances organized. They were looking for a man. Samrit has gone for it. Go ahead. And what was he? Can you repeat that as well? And what was he? I think a former minister of finance. He's absolutely correct. He's got that right. He gets a hundred. R.K. Shanmugam Chetty came the man who would become India's first finance minister after India became independent. A very, very good answer to get 100 there. As we go to the next one onto your screen. Now, this is an institute. Anumega is giving it a shot. Very important. Serum Institute of India and it made the COVID vaccines, I guess. Say that again. Serum Institute of India, it made the COVID vaccines. Serum Institute of India, it made one of the COVID vaccines, which was yeah. COVID Shield, And uh, she will get 100 for that. Extremely well answered from Mumbai. The Serum Institute is not too far from where she is, as they are located in Pune. She gets that absolutely right. She's good with her answers. It's becoming a race between her and Samarid. And it can be an intense one. Sanvi and Omkar are surely going to get on that buzzer very quickly. As we go to the next one, on your screens now. The top 500 project ranks and details of the 500 most powerful Non-distributed computer systems in the country. Samrid has gone for it. Param. We'll give you a minus hundred. In a hurry, not waiting for me to even ask the question. Well, he's really, really lost out. Unfortunate that he did not wait. It's part of the national program on artificial intelligence. I'm talking of Airavat, where AI is also a pun on artificial intelligence. So he'll take a negative in a bit of a hurry there. As he gets to 200, Anumega is also on 200. Well, patience will help as we move on to the next question on your screens now. This is a famous story. Omkar has gone for it this time. Go ahead, Omkar. This is Elephant Whisper Wars. It is, it is directed by Kartiki Gonsils and it won an Oscar Academy Award. Outstanding answer, 100 to Omkar, the Oscar for India on Elephant Whisperers, a fantastic documentary that made India proud. Lovely answer coming there from him. He gets 100. So PSB be on to that score sheet as well. One more 100 and it's going to be a lot of tension. As we go to the next one, on your screen now. This was an Asian Games gold medal for an event, a team event, in equestrian. Go ahead, Omkar. This is equestrian. The four people won a gold in equestrian in Asian Games. I need the specific event. I told equestrian. Equestrian. 
It's a specific event in Asian Games. It's the first ever time in history India won that. Horse equestrian. Well, all equestrian events are horses. It's four people, so it's a team event because equestrian polo, has polo, many equestrian polo. minus hundred to you. Minus hundred to you. The event is called dressage. The event is called dressage. It's a team event because equestrian has many individual events too. And each of those events have different names. So just equestrian will not get you the points. And I mentioned equestrian before you hit the buzzer. So hard luck for him. He thought it was equestrian and he went for it. He lose the hundred that he just got. But I think he knew the drift that I was going on. A very proud moment though for India at the Asian Games. Never easy because it's almost like getting your horses to dance. That can be quite a challenge. Outstanding four contestants here today as you're watching the national final of a class apart. In memory and remembrance of a great educator, Mrs. YGP, this memorial quiz will see who's going to become the national champion this year as we move on from almost halfway in this quiz to look at a segment where she is inspiring. Here it is. All right, we've got five questions lined up for you in this round as well as we are going to get started with this one. The scoring pattern, of course, remains the same. 100, the value for a right answer. And we'll start with the first one. Hands on the buzzer. Question on your screen now. This is Madhavan, the actor, and Nambi Narayan. Who are they with? Samrit, go ahead. Factory movie. Sorry? Hey. What movie? Factory movie. Can't hear you at all. Rocketry movie on Nambi Narayan. Rocketry movie on Nambi Narayan. Minus 100 to you. The question I asked you was, who are they with? Minus 100. Not hearing the question. The answer is Sunita Williams. Sunita Williams, the lady who's so popular for her voyages is the person who is with Nambi Narayan and Madhavan. As we move on to the next one, he loses 100 on that one. Sunita Williams, in my opinion, was an easy one. I think he just missed it in the tension of it and not quite hearing me carefully, just went for the movie. As we go to the next one, on your screen, here's your question. Now, this is a great cricketer. The only test cricketer of India to have been born Go ahead, Samrit. It's Salim Durani. Salim Durani is absolutely right. India lost him in 2023. The only man born in Afghanistan to have played test cricket for India. A very good answer. He's also an Arjuna Award recipient. I think the first cricketer to have got an Arjuna Award. And uh, the year 2023 saw the passing of the great Salim Durani. As we go to the next one. Samrid regaining the hundred that he lost. On to the next one. He's still managing a smile, which is good. And the next one coming up on your screen now. He was the third person, along with Gandhi and Tagore, on Time's list of 20 most influential Asians in the 20th century. His leadership as Director General of the International Rice Research Institute in Philippines gave him Anumega Datta. Go ahead. Anus Swaminathan, father of the Indian Revolution, a Green Revolution, he recently passed away. Outstanding answer by her. She'll get herself a hundred, puts her into the lead. The first world food price went to him in 1987. Dr. Swaminathan. The third photograph that should appear in that list of the time three Indians or three Asians that they chose. Tagore, Gandhi and M.S. Swaminathan. Fantastic answer by a young girl from Mumbai. As we go to the next one, hands on the buzzer. Here we go. This 
is a famous lady, well known. Omkar has gone for it. Yes, Omkar. Indra Rui, former CEO of PepsiCo. Again. Indra Rui, former CEO of Pepsi. He's covered both. He'll get himself a hundred. This time around, fast on the buzzer. He's got himself a hundred on that one. He moves to his hundred after losing that hundred. Otherwise, he would have also been in a very good position. He's still not out of the game, of course. As we go to the next one, hands on the buzzer. On your screens, question appearing now. This is an eye hospital associated with Dr. Venkata Swami. Omkar has gone for it. I'm inside. It is, is it Louis Braille? Is it Louis Braille who's inside? I said it's an eye hospital. Yeah, Louis Braille. Is your because answer? Because he only invented a Braille system. Minus 100 to you. From Tamil Nadu, the speed at which you went for it, I thought you would have known the answer. It's 100 years and more at the Aravind Eye Hospital. It's a fantastic hospital as we celebrate India in this quiz. The Aravind Eye Hospital from Madurai is actually a case study at the Harvard Business School on how they make such fabulous progress at scale without really pinching anybody's pocket at all. They're certainly on that path to eliminate needless blindness, as they call it in their vision. Superb people, superb institutions, as we celebrate all of them at this quiz. Omkar, unfortunately, gaining and losing. The scales have tilted marginally as we take a look at that scorecard coming up on your screen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at a class apart, the national final for 2023. Leading this quiz is a young girl from Thakur Public School, Anubega Datta. She is on 300. Behind her is Sunbeam English School from Varanasi's Samrit. He's played extremely well, just that he misfired on one or two questions out of sheer anxiety or perhaps the enthusiasm to get more. Omkar has unfortunately gained and lost, gained and lost. So he needs to be careful with his answers as we move to the final frontier of our game, which is going to decide who is going to be the champion of this year's Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz. The final frontier, she is a class apart. Here it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, on the final frontier here at the final quiz of this season of A Class Apart. One of these four is going to be declared A Class Apart. Well, certainly all four of them have been outstanding. In the final frontier, I've got five questions. And from these five questions, which I will be reading out, the value remains the same. Well, one of them is clearly going to emerge the champion. So, ladies and gentlemen, in this round, I will be reading out the questions, five of them. So, 500 points still to be made. So, anyone can still win this quiz. And, of course, the negative is equally on a minus 500. If you press the buzzer, while I am reading the question, you're indicating you know the answer. So, I'll stop reading the question the moment you hit the buzzer. So, keep that in mind. If you are ready, nothing appearing on your screen. Starting with the first of our five questions, it's a rapid fire to find out who is a class apart. Question number one. In which sport, in which sport did India at a point in time win six Olympic gold medals in a row? One after the other, Olympic after Olympic, Anumega Datta is on the buzzer. Hockey. Is absolutely correct. She'll get a hundred on that. Hockey is absolutely right. She gets a hundred and her buzzer was the one that was flashing. And hockey was something where India has been outstanding then and now. Question number two. In India, you would find the Sanchi Stupa on which denomination of currency. Omkar has gone for it. The Sanchi Stupa. 
200 rupees is absolutely correct he'll get himself a hundred on that the rupee 200 note features the sanchi stupa he's back to a hundred if he gets a hundred more samrit is going to be in trouble because samrit is now in a precarious position between anumega and omkar and he's pretty much landed himself in that situation today he knows he could have done way better he's obviously battled with a little bit of an audio issue but that's part of life as we go to the next one question number 3 the jungle book by rudyard kipling will take you to the pench tiger reserve samrit again uttar pradesh in madhya pradesh state he's taking a guess and it's in madhya pradesh state so he is taking Mind. a guess that the question would be to which state because i said pench tiger reserve and at that moment he's gone for the buzzer taken a risk plus 100 plus 100 to samrith he's got the 100 that he required otherwise he would have been in deep trouble because he would have gone down to 100 which would be with omkar and then anumega would have been in a very very good position but for the moment it's a threatening position here between the two of them as we go to the next question hands on that buzzer well let's see what's going to happen on this one two final questions one of them is going to win the title here we go it was at the beijing olympic games in 2008 that india won its first ever anumega abhivanav bindra in um, shooting anumega datta will get a 100 oh that's an important 100 for her she took the plunge fired her pistol on abhinav bindra samrid was waiting on a question where he should not have waited and he did not wait on the questions where he should have waited well he's played the game a little differently but he still got one question to get closer and feel comfortable as we go to the final question at a class apart according to my builder and the most famous resident of my existence he said this is the right place for our activities to carry on the search for truth and develop fearlessly for on one side are the iron bolts of the foreigners and on the other the thunder bolts of mother nature which ashram in india am i describing anumega is giving it a shot maybe it's a half chance go ahead sabarmati ashram nothing to lose even if she gets a minus 100 it's not going to affect her title a plus 100 yet again will take her to 700 or is it 600 600 i think oh this young girl has played with a lot of tenacity today she's been fast she's been calculative and she's been very very composed i think even though we're doing junior quizzes staying composed is becoming very very important omkar and samrit will learn that lesson in this final because both of them had their own moments of rush of blood but ladies and gentlemen let's remember thousands and thousands take part in quiz shows like this it's never easy to be in a final four it's time for us to move into our prize distribution but before that we will take a look at the final tally here it is finishing in the top 4 here today from psbb tnagar is sanvi she had her moments of difficulty here in getting to the buzzer quickly but her smiles only indicated that she knew the answer she's got to get faster on the buzzer omkar will tell himself i should have been more careful and he finishes with 100 which could have easily been 300 he knows that very well from psbb kk nagar he will finish third here today from varanasi from sunbeam english school samrith will tell himself i could have won this national final he certainly could have well he finishes with a 300 and he will be happy at the end of the day because he knows he was the one who made those quick shots on the buzzer which didn't pay off 
and playing the game with absolute calm and clarity, racing away towards the last two questions, but that did not affect her performance because she was at it right through round after round and gave some brilliant answers. Ladies and gentlemen, our national champion at a class apart, the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz for 2023, representing the Thakur Public School from Mumbai, is Anumega Datta. Congratulations to you, Anumega, on an outstanding performance and yet another title. These are young contestants, and it's really nice to see them so sportive and clapping. Very tough fight between her and Samarith, but extremely well played towards the end to get that title to yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a fascinating series this year. As young children learn how to play the digital game better and better, the competitiveness has only increased over the last couple of years. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's that time for us to welcome Mrs. Sheila Rajendran from the PSBB Group of Institutions. We owe a huge gratitude to them for creating this property for schools across India and for patronizing it. Over to you, ma'am. Shri Guru Namaha. Very good evening to one and all. So happy to be here with all of you on this occasion of the fourth edition of A Class Apart, Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2023. Congratulations to all the participants. And our appreciation goes to all the schools, parents of the participants, and all those who have been instrumental in facilitating their quizzing talents, encouraging them, motivating them. And here they are, the finalists and the national winner, Anumega Tata from Thakur Public School, Mumbai, who's the national champion. Congratulations, Anumega Datta. Our congratulations goes to Sanvi Gupta from PSBB T Nagar, Omkar Sundar Kumar from PSBB KK Nagar, and Samriddhi Kaushal from Sunbeam English School, Varnasi who were the other national finalists. Once again, a round of applause to each one of them. It is with utmost joy that I extend a warm welcome to our own chief guest and extend my Gratitude to him, Mr. Radha Krishnan Srinivasan, fondly called and known as RK. He's a very familiar face, I'm sure, to all of you. And here I must, with pride, say he is an alumnus of the Padma Sri Shadri Balabhavan School, KK Nagar. Hello everyone. Honestly, I wish I could have taken part in this competition. Not to say that I would have won this competition or I could have come anywhere close to winning, but just the whole spirit of competition is what excites me. Big congratulations to Anumega Datta from Thakur Public School, Sanvi Gupta from Padma Seshadri T Nagar, Omkar Sundar Kumar from Padma Seshadri KK Nagar, Samrit Kaushal from Sunbeam English School, Varanasi. Well done to every one of you who have taken part and who have won this particular competition. I think when I look at every one of you and when I look at every one of you doing so very well, it takes me back in time to the 80s and the 90s when we used to have uh, what we used to call as the General Assembly uh, during our school days. It still is prevalent in Padma Shadri. And I think the reason behind that is uh, Dr. Mrs. YGP, who's very close to every one of our hearts. When I say our hearts, I think she lives in the hearts of every one of us PSBBNs. Just the visionary that she is or she was, uh, you know, 
if you're good at debates, you can express yourself. If you're good with respect to music, you could express yourself. You could be a great percussionist. You had a competition for that. I think just the whole idea of giving a stage, of, of presenting a stage where an individual can come and express himself or herself has been uh, one of the greatest achievements of Dr. And Mrs. YJP. I know some of you uh, might tend to feel, uh, perhaps in a very different way, fairly right as well, that you came so near yet so far for the likes of Sanvi or Omkar or Samrit. But I'll tell you what, that's the beauty of it. Look, life is a marathon, as I've always said, as I've always spoken to youngsters about, if not this year, it's going to be next. If not the next year, it's going to be the year after next. It's about what you intend to do with your life. It's about what you pursue as your passion. If quizzing is your passion, I think you should be quizzers. You should go ahead and follow something that revolves around the world of quizzing. I think that's the way you should look at life. This is just a stepping stone. Wish you many, many more years of success. Thank you, RK, for being here with us and encouraging our winners. I would fail in my duty if I do not thank TCS, who's been our technical partner and given us all the technology support to ensure that right from the prelims to the finals, with to ensure that it was a very, very smooth conduct of the quiz. It goes to Pig Brain Giri and his entire team, including, of course, none other than Ms. Rashmi, for being the host of the quiz. You're on here. Thank you. And to their entire team, the Knowledge Tribe, who have made sure that this quiz has been a great success. Thank you all. And I hope you enjoyed watching this from the beginning and especially the last few episodes. Once again, congratulations to each and everyone who participated. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for those inspiring words. But it is that moment for me to actually stand up and say thank you to the Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan group of institutions for creating such a wonderful learning platform for young India. To celebrate this nation, and to celebrate a great educator, Mrs. YGP. What a better platform can one think of than something like this? To the entire family, to the PSBB group of institutions, to all the principals and heads of institutions of the participating schools, the parents and the students who took part with enormous amount of enthusiasm, from my young colleague Rashmi Futado, from me Pig Brain, from all of us here today, on behalf of TCS ION, on behalf of PSBB, and on behalf of Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe, thank you for joining us at this season. We'll be back with you in 2024. But till then, from me, Pig Brain, thank you so much for tuning in. Goodbye.